In Panda's data frame, using Boolean output, how to detect crossovers of two different columns, lines? I'm still learning Python and trying out a real-time scan of the latest stock prices and in my workflow I have two different data frames. One, data frame running real-time to detect certain conditions based on the latest open, high, low, close, ALK, prices and linear and line. Latter lines are based on the ALK values. These are manifest in six columns with the same name. Index is simply time. In this example, each rows represents one minute, and new rows manifest in the data frame with each passing minute. The code used here to check the crossover based on the latest rows have the following type of writing style. I'm trying to detect if lined has dipped down below linear from above. Let's say at this moment it's 0900, and I'm trying to detect if any of this crossover happened between 0858 to 0859, or 0859 to 0900. Translating to rows in the data frame, I'm trying to use the above code to find crossovers within the current and previous two rows. I've tried running in Python, and it gave me a false response, so I'm thinking it's correct. can advise if this is correct, or if there is a better way to write this. 2. The same exact data frame, but this time I'm trying to populate additional columns representing the outcome of the cond one above, per row. So if a row does not show any crossovers within the current and previous two rows, the current row under the cond one column will be false. Purpose here is for me to check if the real-time script is running correctly. This gave me the error the truth value of a series is ambiguous. Use a.empty, a.bool, a.item, a.any or a.all. I just learned that Python and pandas have their own way of using any and all, but I'm lost here. How I should write this, in cases where I need both conditions to be true, or just one of the conditions to be true. Please advise. The issue is the use of AND. For a Boolean comparison of array-like objects you want to use AND, see this question. Moreover, you need to make sure to use parentheses to separate the logical and from the test with is lower than AND. Finally, the function cond1 updates the data frame df in place, so there is no need to use return at the end of the function. In summary, Edit, regarding your first question, it might be easier to do first a comparison between linear and line to get a boolean index and then check when this index flips from true to false. This will give you all crossover points so far.